Hello everyone. This is our set of the day. Let us solve this. It says there is a three by three grid and each cell has a distinct letter among A to I. So all these letters are distinct letters, right? And these nine letters are actually the distinct single digit natural numbers. So we have uh, from zero to nine, we have uh, 10 single digit natural numbers, but this question says natural numbers. So we have from one to nine, we have nine natural numbers from uh, one to nine, right? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, they can have values from one to nine. And further, it is given that there are three conditions given. First says the product of the numbers in the row three. That means product of these three numbers, C, F, or and I. This is equal to twice of their sum, right? And the same is true for column C2 also. This column also has the same property. Second point says, except in the column C1, in the column one, every column has exactly one even number and the six digit number FB, FDB, EIH, when multiplied by three gives us this result. So based on these three conditions, we have to find the values for A, B, C, D up to I. So the first condition says, let's uh, uh, see the first condition. It says the product of the numbers in the row three, R3 is twice their sum, right? So that means whatever the values of C, F and I are, whatever digits these three uh, digits are, their product is equal to twice of their sum. Now, if I consider the smallest three digits, uh, except one, means two and three and four, right? These are the smallest three digits, except one, two, three, four. Their sum is going to be nine, and their product is 24, right? So product is almost, almost 2.5 times, uh, more than 2.5 times than the, uh, than the sum of the digits, right? So that means I cannot, use digits 234, 245, 246, etc. This condition will not be satisfied by using these, these, these kind of digits, right? So if you want to satisfy this condition, then product of numbers should be twice of their sum. One digit among these three, C, F, and I, one among uh, these three should be one, should be one, right? Moreover, F is also the digit, uh, in the column two, that means F, which is the common digit to both row three and C2, that common digit should be one, right? Since one is required for the row, row three as well as for the column two, because column two also satisfy the same condition. So it means that one should be the digit among C, F, I, one digit should be one, and same is the uh, case for DEF. Among these three uh, digits, D, E, and F, one digit should be one. Only then this condition given in the uh, point number one will be satisfied. Now, that means one digit is one. So if one, if I take one digit to be one, if I take the other two as two, three, you can see that their sum and product, they are equal. Sum is six, product is also six. So this is not satisfied. Similarly, one, two, four. If I take one, two, four, the product will be eight but the sum is seven, right? They are very close. And this is again, not true. And if you keep on doing this one to five product is 10, but sum is eight, almost they are equal. And one to six will not satisfy again. The product is 12, whereas the sum is 10, uh, nine, sum is, sum is nine and product is 12. Again, they are almost, almost equal. So with one to six, you can check that this condition won't be satisfied, right? So if you take one, three and four, like I'm not taking one, three, two, because one, two, three, two already uh, checked here. One, three, three cannot be that, that, that cannot be the case because all these digits are distinct. So if I check one, three, four, the product is 12, whereas the sum is eight, right? Almost, uh, that is 1.5 times. So if I take next one, three, five, again, you, you check that product is 15 and sum is nine, right? And so on. If you keep on doing this, you will check that at 138, at 138, the product will be 24 and sum will be 12, right? So this is the first triplet which satisfy this condition. 138 will be the first triplet which satisfy this condition. 
so one triplet is one three eight and if you further keep on doing the uh, checking the cases you will you check that the next triplet that will satisfy is one four five right for one four five the product is twenty and the sum of digits is ten again product is twice of the sum so the next triplet that we satisfy is one four five so there are two triplets only that will satisfy this condition one is one three eight and the second one is one four five and and we know already know that since one is common to uh, both the triplets so one will be the uh, value of f since f is the letter which is common to both column two as well as the row three so let me erase this part from here we got one value and also we know that uh, in the third condition first of all value of f is one right value of f is one and the third condition says that, says that the six digit number f b d e i h now f is one so number is one d b i e and h this number when multiplied by three so when you multiply this number by three the result is d b i e h and f right where f is one f we know that f is one so let us try to find out the digits now we know that three into h will give you result one right three into h will multiply and the result uh, the number uh, after get uh, number getting after the multiplication of three and h as one in the unit phase that means the value of h should be seven because seven into three will give you 21 that means one at the unit phase so that means the value of h is seven so if the value of h is seven i am just replacing h by seven here Right. So three into seven twenty one, two is carried. Now we know that three into e plus two. Right. In the next next multiplication, three into e plus two should be seven. Right. That means three into e should end in five. That means e has to be five because five into three will give you fifteen. So the value of e is five. So this value of e is five, and three into five, fifteen plus two is seventeen. Seventeen means one is carried, and this e is five. Next, it says three into i plus one. Three into i plus one should end in five. That means three into i should end in four. Three into i should end in four. That means i has to be eight. Because three into eight will give you twenty-four, that will end in four. So that means the value of i is eight. So value of i is eight. So let me change this i with eight. So this is eight here, right? So three into eight, twenty-four plus one twenty-five. So two is carried now. Now two is carried. Okay. Now three into b. Next multiplication is three into b plus two. Now next is. Let me erase some of the part. The next part is three into b plus two will give you eight. Right. Three into b plus two should be eight. That means three into b should be six. Right. So that means this can happen only if b is equal to two. So if b is two, then only we will get three into two six. So that means the value of b is two, right? So value of b is two. So value of b is two. So three into two, six plus two, you got eight, right? So value of b here will also be two. Next, 
since 3 into 2, 6 plus 2 is 8, nothing is carried over. Now, next it says 3 into D should be 2. So, 3 into D should end in 2. Right? The number uh, obtained after multiplying 3 and, do, uh, 3 and D uh, ends in 2. Right? So, D has to be 4. So, 3 into 4. That will give you 12. So, the value of D should be 4. So, that means value of D is 4. Right? Value of D is 4. And we also know that know that value of B was 2. Right? And uh, you can now check that if the value of D is 4, then you will get 3 into 4, 12. 2 is written here. 1 is carried over. 3 into 1 plus 1 is 4. So this is again the value of D, which is 4. Right? So these are the digits which I got from uh, the point number 3. Now, also I know that one triplet among R3 and C2 is 138, the other one is 145 and 145 is already uh, are the elements of column 2. That means 138 should be the elements of row number 3. Uh, and among these 1 and 8 are already uh, given the val uh, values F and I. So that means C is equal to 8 here. So C has the value 8. Let me raise this now. After this, Uh, we are now left with one is there. Sorry, uh, one and eight are already there. So C will be three. My mistake. C will be three. Right. One, three, eight. One and eight are the values of F and I. So value of C is three. Now one, two, three, four, five. They are gone. Six is left. Seven, eight are gone, and nine is left. So these are the two digits left and one of them will go with A and the other one will go with G. Now, second point. Second point says, except the column 1, except C1, every column has exactly one even number. Okay. Now, in the column 1, already B is equal to 2. Right. In column 2, D is 4. In column 3, I is 8. So, except C1, C2 and C3, they must have exactly one even number. So, that means C3 should have only one even number and that even number is 8. That means G cannot be an even number. So value of G should be 9. So value of A will be 6. Right. So with this, uh, we uh, put in the values for the distinct digits A, B, C, D, E, F, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Right. Now let's uh, move on to the questions. The first one says, what is the value of A? Now value of A from here is 6. So answer is option number 1. Second says, what is the product of the values of C, D, and I? Now, C, D, and I. C is 3, D is 4, I is 8. So, the product will be 3 into 4. This is 3, this is 4, and this is 8. So, product is 3 into 4 into 8. Means 96. So, answer is option 3. Next, it says, the absolute difference of the values of G and D is equal to the value of. Now, G is 9, and D is 4. And their difference is 5, and 5 is the value of E. So, answer is option number 2. So, this was all about this set. Thank you to all of you.